As we track the tropics right before the start of hurricane season tomorrow, the impact of last year's big storms are still getting a lot of attention. Absolutely. The state is investigating fraud allegations connected with Hurricane Ian. West 2 Investigates' Greg Fox has been digging into the state probe and shows us what he's uncovered about homeowners who claim that they have been underpaid by insurance companies. I'm going to cry. I got water all over the floor. Pat Muzzy of Port Charlotte shot video after Hurricane Ian. The bathroom even has leaks. Leaking ceilings, soaked in ruined furniture, the lanai at her villa ripped apart, and battered gutters and roofing tiles. This is terrible. My roof is really damaged. But what happened in the days that followed made her want to cry even more. She showed us an estimate in her insurance company's online portal on October 24th, indicating an initial loss of more than $62,000. But two days later, the amount shown was less than $36,000. A private contractor later estimated her damage at more than $100,000, and though the insurance company agreed to pay more, she said it wasn't enough. They should be held accountable. In December, she filed a complaint a civil remedy notice of insurer violations with the Department of Financial Services, and in February sued the carrier for breach of contract. How can they just be so unconscionable? Adjuster Jordan Lee told me 44 of 46 of his Ian damage estimates were rewritten to underpay policyholders. For example, his photo of this home's roof includes this note, Roof has significant damage due to high-velocity winds. The insurance company later changed the note to read, Missing Shingles, while leaving his name on the estimate to make it appear to be the original report. Instead of paying the policyholder nearly $92,000, as Lee recommended, the insurance company offered just over $28,000 to settle the claim. The insurance companies are not taking care of those people. The Office of Insurance Regulation and Department of Financial Services are investigating the industry, which could result in criminal fraud charges, fines and suspensions or revocations of licenses. In December, the legislature and governor passed new laws aimed at speeding up claims payments, starting with a requirement to react quickly to that first call to your agent when a storm rolls through. They changed the law from a response requirement of 14 days down to seven days. So your insurer is required to get back to you uh, within seven days, and this will be the first hurricane season we've gone through with that requirement. New Insurance Commissioner Michael Yawarski says those companies are also required to at least partially satisfy claims within 60 days, not 90 days under the old law. Lawmakers also passed in the session that just ended the Insurer Accountability Act, which increases maximum fines for company failures, prohibits carriers from canceling policies with pending claims, and authorizes statewide prosecution of insurance fraud. Arrest and the threat of criminal prosecution, that becomes a deterrent. Doug Quinn is founder of the insurance watchdog group, the American Policyholder Association. He says prosecuting insurance executives and their agents must be followed through by the state for any of these laws to have real teeth. And we're certainly hoping that Florida authorities uh, take heed of that and actually defend the Florida citizens by enforcing laws. The APA has this advice. Before a storm hits, take pictures or video of your property inside and out. Request a certified copy of your insurance policy from your agent. After the storm, take pictures or a video of your damage as long as it is safe. Contact your insurance company. Log all insurance company communications. If possible, video record your field adjuster's inspection and request a copy of the initial report. If you're concerned about the claims amount, consider hiring a public adjuster or consult a contractor. Still not satisfied? You may want to consult with an attorney. And I think the fraud is huge. Attorney Stephen Bush is fighting to get Hurricane Ian policyholders the insurance company payments they deserve. And I strongly encourage people to take photographs of the loss as soon as the loss happens. Document it. Document it. Because it's the policyholder's burden to prove they had the loss. Careful planning before and after a hurricane could help you avoid being a victim as you put your home and your life 
back together.